Alright, so we've installed SDL. The next thing to do is to create a blank project. Find your way to the linker under Compile and Debugger or Project Options, depending on your IDE. And if you're using CodeBlocks or DevC++, type in dash l min gw32 dash l sdl main and dash l sdl. If you're using Visual Studio, go to LazyFoo's site and check what the linker should be. You'll still have lsdl main and lsdl, but the l min gw32 is for um, min gw32 compilers, which CodeBlocks and DevC++ use. First off, at the top of main.cpp, or whatever you choose to name it, you need to put include stl slash sdl.h. Initialization needs to happen before you do anything with SDL in your project. Here's how you do that. The first thing you will call will be SDL init, and you will pass the flag SDL init everything. To give your window a caption, use SDL wm set caption. That's it for the initializing, but we're going to do a few more things. First, let's create an SDL service named buffer. Usually, I'll make a full screen boolean and initialize it. Then have an if statement to set up the window as either full screen or window depending on what it's initialized to. You can also have a function to toggle full screen mode that does the same thing. That's it for initializing, but we're going to do a few more things. We'll also create an SDL event named event for now. And while the event type is not SDL quit, pull the event and draw the buffer to the screen. Once the user quits, it will leave the loop. Make sure to use the SDL free service function for all surfaces that you've created, and use SDL quit and then return zero at the end. This code will just create a window and loop until the user hits the X button on the upper right of the window. Normally with the game, you will use double buffering. This will keep the screen from flickering. Basically, instead of drawing directly to the screen, we draw everything to a surface or bitmap, which we named buffer, and once everything's drawn to the buffer, the buffer is drawn to the screen. Really, the initialization functions should not be in main. Normally, I would create a game or a system class and put the initialization code into a constructor or a setup function. That way, main will look more like this. One of your goals in making games is to have as little in main as possible. Don't forget your DLLs! In the folder with your exe file, make sure you have either a leg 42.dll or sdl.dll in the same directory, or it will complain about a missing DLL when you try to run it. 